2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Golf Club Championship is about to start. Please, you can join us for this second round action. I'm Luke Elvey with my mate Rich Beam in the booth. And Beamer, this player really hasn't been getting it going in this tournament, finds himself trailing the lead. What are your expectations of them today? Well, certainly they're stuck in second gear out there, aren't they? They just make a birdie or two and then they get it back with a bogey. So they need to quit making mistakes. They need to go ahead and start putting this thing in third and fourth gear and start cruising down the highway a little bit quicker because right now they're trailing. They can't afford to give any more uh, back. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. Time for the second shot into the first. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the first. Just 10 feet to the cup here. Get excited. This could go in. They've made it. Off to a great start today. Oh, thank you very much. I'll have another. Gee, Rich, that's a positive start, isn't it? Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. Gotta say, just some of the best rhythm in the game. Well, let's catch up with this play just a moment ago. This is how you do it seven days a week. Nailed it. Second shot on the second. Is that right? I think so. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Ooh, that almost went down. He has this putt to save his par. Well done. Currently eight under for the tournament. We find ourselves on a par three here. This looks to be heading to the green. Yeah. Left yourself an opportunity. This putt is about 15 feet to the hole. Was on a good line. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. He finds himself in a share of the lead. This hole here is a par four. Oh, that was pummeled into submission. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this lie? Well, guys, it might not be all that bad here in the first cut. It's sitting, sitting up pretty good. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the booty range, but you never know. Hole a long one, still counts. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Yeah. 
Yeah, good putt. Well hold. And now we go to the sixth where this happened just a moment ago. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. Third shot now. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. And after that hole, leading Tommy Fleetwood by a stroke. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? That should find the fairway. Taking aim from around 240 yards out here. Going with a three wood here. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Always like the aggressive play, going forward in two and getting rewarded for it. This one looking really good. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. Gotta like it. Two in a row. And after that hole, you've built a one-stroke advantage over Tommy Fleetwood. Time to tee off at the sixth. Do you attack it and try and crease your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? That's not what they hoped for. I'm definite about that. Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? Well, guys, it is only the first cut, but it did kind of make its way into the deeper parts of this rough here. Let's see what happens. Whoa, down there, horsey. Splash. Playing their fourth shot. Little extra club required going back uphill for their second shot if they want to get it all the way back to this whole location. Sadly, this one will make a splash. Sixth shot coming up. Slightly elevated green. They're going to need to take a little extra club to get it all the way back there. Going with the pitching wedge here. Uh, that'll flick a few of the leaves going through there. Time for their seventh shot. And a quadruple bogey putt coming up now. Ooh, right by the hole. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Well, that's a shame. That'll drop them down the standings, that's for sure. We have a par three on this one. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Seven feet to the cup. Putt is underway. And down she goes. Trailing by five shots after that hole. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. 
Here's the tee shot at the eighth. That one was fired out of a cannon. Time for the second shot at the eighth. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. Trying to get to six under now with this putt. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Tommy Fleetwood currently in the lead. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Good shot there. And this from Sergio Garcia just a short while ago. And just look what they're able to do with this putt from way out. And back to the course with the live action. Second shot here on the ninth. <laughs> Looks like they're going for the green. Good aggressive play here. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Oh, you set yourself up with an eagle opportunity. Ooh. Let's move one step closer to the lead here. This putt for a share of four. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And that will take him to six under. Tommy Fleetwood has a one-shot advantage over the field. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Lovely rhythm there, Rich. That's going to work every time. The power play. you got to love it. Oh, how about that shot? Taking out the big stick and going ahead and knocking her on. Love it. Ooh, just hammered that through the line. Three feet to go here to the hole. Ooh, nice looking putt. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And that will take him to seven under. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Down here on the 12th hole, Matt Kuchar is uh, just getting ready to hit. And that shot goes in. That'll be a birdie. A little punch shot here. Oh, yes! What a result! Fantastically played. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Going with the 9-iron, nine I think. Not bad. 
Steps up to a punt of about 15 feet in distance. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. And this one is for his par. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Currently seven under for the event. I know this hole's a par five, but it's a long one. So don't feel the need to overpower it. That got caught up in a few of the branches. Lovely effort, that. Second shot here on the 12th. The interesting choice of the driver here. Getting ready to play their third. Three strokes off the lead. Anything in five feet to be handy from here. Well, it's just about three feet away. And well, hold. Let's move on. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Hey, guys. I'm on the 15th. This is Sergio Garcia's next shot. Well, oh, that was an absolute beauty, particularly out of that lie. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Beautiful swing there. From around 220 yards. Three behind our leader. Opting for the three wood. Well, let's hope this one draws a good lie because it's not going to be on the fairway. Ah, it's a little wayward. And coming up well short. Certainly makes putting easy if you can chip it that close. Judging it beautifully. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. He's currently tied for fifth. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. Oh, that was pure. Looks to be going with the six iron. Mm, maybe needed a better club from the caddy. It's a bit strong, this. I'll tell you what, there's been some great golf being played all over the course. Let's have a look at this. Bryson DeChambeau now with one of the great highlights of the day. I got to say, his short game is one of the best in the game. And here we are with the third shot. Just three back from the leader. Good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. Nicely hold, and for par. Now three strokes back after that hole. 
Let's see what happens here on the 15th. He may be thinking about going for the green here. Getting ready to play their third. Three strokes off the lead. Well, a lovely opportunity to save par here. That was a gallant attempt. And this one will be for bogey. Justin Thomas is our current leader. Yeah, I can understand he'd be disappointed by the bogey, but here's an opportunity to bounce back. Uh, it's heading to the rough for mine. Well, it doesn't take a genius to know that this is not a good place to be. Yes, difficult light made a par here yesterday, a little bit more difficult today. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. Nicely done. All right, John. How's his putt looking? Well, he's got about 22 feet to go here, guys. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Just three feet to the cup. And down it goes. John, do you have any info down there? Well, guys, I'm on the 18th. This is Matt Kuchar's next shot. This putt's for Eagle. Justin Thomas is at the top of the leaderboard with a one-shot lead. Teeing off here on the 17th hole. Looks like they've got the five wood. Oh, absolutely flushed. Time now for the fourth shot. Fifteen feet to the cup. This is a good chance. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Well played, mate. This shot coming from around 220 yards. Only a few shots off the pace. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Important putt here. They make it. They're into the top five. Uh, didn't quite hit it, did you? Sometimes when you try and get it up the hill, you just forget to hit it sometimes, and it seems so in this case. And with that, this round comes to a close. Well, Rich, after a sloppy start, they seem to pull that round together. Well, definitely a tale of two nines, wasn't it? On the front nine, they looked like a rank amateur, and on the back nine, it looked actually they knew what they were doing. So interesting to watch, no doubt about it. Hopefully more consistency in the days ahead. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, and Rich B, 
Thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.